Hey everybody, I want to show you how I'm going to make a quick dinner really fast with pretty much just this one tool. I've got a bunch of vegetables sliced up here and over here in my large 12-inch uh, pan. I've just got some oil heating. I'm going to turn it to medium heat. And what you want to do is you want to just put your veggies in. You don't want really thick vegetables um, because these blades here are somewhat flexible. So if you've got a really dense vegetable like a potato, you're going to want to cut those in slices first. But basically, you can just run your veggies through here. I'm going to start with my aromatics. So I've got some onions and if you had, you know, garlic or um, ginger or something, you'd want to add it right now. But I'm going to do my whole dinner in these kind of lengthy, um, not lengthy, <laughs> these long um, sort of matchstick sort of slices. So the only other tool I'm going to use besides this is my garlic press. If you've not seen this, uh, you just put the unpeeled garlic right in there and you press it right through. I use the little cleaning tool to scrape it off. And then I also use it to dig out the, the skin. So, a little bit of that came back in there. And then this little, I call it the Barbie brush, you can put it in there to get all the excess um, garlic out. I'm going to put two things of garlic in. So I'm going to do my second one now. Squeeze it in. Scrape it off. And then use that to dig it out. All right, so then I want to show you, again, this is a real quick meal. We're going to take this. I'm going to set this zucchini upright. You can see I cut it um, in a little matchstick length with the whole thing. So now I can take this and do this with matchsticks this direction. And if I twisted them this way, then I could, would cube them. But you can see I've got these great little lengths here. I'm going to set this off to the side just for a second because I want my onion to cook a little bit more before I add this. Get a lot of that garlic flavor out. So I'm going to do all these first. general idea of what I'm doing here. And you can see my um, my peppers are getting a little old. they got that wrinkly skin on them, so I need to use them up tonight. I'm just going to put these in like this and just cut right through them. And I've got, with these little baby bell peppers, I don't even bother taking the seeds out usually. Someone that gets it on their plate can, you know, easily rip that off, but frankly, I don't even really bother that much with my family. They manage just fine. So you can use regular bell peppers, of course, too. Show you how this goes. And my last one. Next, we're going to do some cauliflower. Lost them on the floor there. Not a big deal. You don't have to show that. <laughs> Give my onions a good stir. They're starting to brown a little bit on the edges. Looking good. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and add that right into the pan. You can use this on, like I said, any sort of semi-soft or soft vegetable. I use it on strawberries for slicing strawberries. Um, I would be using it on mushrooms tonight to go with my dinner, if my kids liked mushrooms, but alas, they don't. All right, you can see these cool slices that it makes, so broccoli is really cool for that. I'm going to throw my peppers in now, and again, zucchini 
cooks a lot faster than other things, so we're going to put that in last when I get done. Dump it out like that. Let's add a couple more. Actually, I don't think I'm going to put that many on there. vegetables. You can lay them out as many as will fit on the grid. And again, if it's not a super dense vegetable, you can you can double stack them. You've seen me do that a couple times here. Like this. Here's these are triple stacked. Soft enough to go through. Sometimes you've seen me use this sort of rocking motion that that helps sometimes get through it if the blades might be trying to bend a little bit as you're cutting it. I just do a little bit at a time. And finally, we've got that done. Give my veggies a stir again. Starting to look good. And I'm flying vegetables out of the pan once more. Now I want to show you one last thing. Once I'm done with the vegetables, I'm going to just kind of shove them off to the side, and then I'm going to cook my sausage. And what I like to do sometimes is kind of put it on, um, on an angle, because what you get is a nice slice like that. This is a chicken, kale, and um, cheese. I can't remember what kind of cheese is in this sausage, but it works really great with sausages too. So that is a super quick way to make a nice, quick and super healthy dinner for your family in just about five minutes. Thanks for watching.